We've gone from the Grand Tetons to the Great Salt Lake. From some of the most mountainous areas of this continent to the flattest. This is the ultimate ground is lava game right here. <laughs> this is what happens if you go on the low point. Kids are in Heavy Betty, about to watch a movie. Sunset running date. <laughs> this doesn't happen often. Embrace the burn. So we have just stumbled upon the annual bison roundup. Officials at the state park say the island can only support a certain number of bison. So the bison are rounded up each year, counted, and many are then sold off. She's what we call an Appaloosa. Oh. <laughs> you are hot. So they're talking about how people don't like the brine fly. But I love this line down here. Acquaintance often leads to enlightenment as appreciation erodes away the bias. The water level in the Great Salt Lake is it's at critically low levels right now and it's lost a lot of the biodiversity that believe it or not lives in that salty salty lake all right we are starting this morning out with a hike to the t highest peak on antelope island wow i spotted two mountain goats the mama mountain goat here she is in her natural habitat <laughs> Maya, you did it! Woohoo! Thanks, Phil, and the clear skies of Utah for giving us some solar right now. <laughs> While the kids have been exposed to so many fantastic experiences and people in the first three months of our year-long road trip, our extrovert has started to struggle with the lack of feeling grounded in friends and family outside her parents and brother. Luckily, during our stay on the island, one of our closest friends came for a visit. Maya, why are you sitting there staring at the door? This is our first friend that's flown over to meet us while we're traveling. It was so normal for us to have friends stop by when we were living in Davenport. <sighs> Yay! Yeah! Oh my gosh! <laughs> this is so crazy! This was Erock's welcome card. Thank you, Maya. Oh, so good to see you. <laughs> e -Rock thought there'd be plenty of room in here in the 19 foot trailer for a guest. She was like, it looks so much bigger in the vlogs than in real life. I'm right here and I can touch my eyes. <laughs> and the door. <laughs> oh my gosh. Elizabeth and Devin are out there hiking to that peak right there. Made it to the top. Okay, two it's... weeks ago, I didn't even know this place existed. Amazing. Now I'm blown away. You just need really awesome friends. That's all I need. Who can open your world to yeah. all these amazing I would experiences. I've never found this on my own. We need to thank Dennis. Thank you, Dennis. <laughs> yes, <of course. laughs> all right, the ladies are gone for their hike, and we're just passing by some bison here. Ha! It's so cold. These kids don't need no stinking trail. Just paving their way straight down the mountain. Uh, sunset on the Great Salt Lake. Oh, look at this.
dinner time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, what happened just now? Your yeah. first customer? Uh, abalone magnet. Where did you get these abalone shells? Um, I found them at, at a really cool beach. All right, and then you glued a magnet to them, and now you're selling them as magnets. Teo, what just happened? That woman just bought one of everything. <laughs> Today's your first day of Teo's Teo's tiny campground goods. How much money do you have? Eighteen dollars. Eighteen dollars. Teo, what was your in initial investment? Fourteen dollars, and then now I have, and I got eighteen dollars. Four dollars is my profit. Yay! <laughs> Devin's got a friend from Monterey and a friend from college in Vermont, and both of them are here. Whoop, whoop. Ready for a bike ride? Yes! Look at this! <laughs> Look at this! Ready for anything? This is called sub-freezing mountain biking. <laughs> Cue the heavy metal. We now have friends with us, and they are experiencing the ultimate game of ground is lava! Our kids felt so much more grounded after having a friend visit who they have known their whole lives, as well as knowing friends and family are on the itinerary in the coming weeks. After spending our final day on Antelope Island with our friend Elizabeth from California and Devon's college friend Jenny and her family who now live in Salt Lake City, we set out for Utah's least visited national park. <laughs> 